Hi everyone, welcome to Tendu.org. Today we will be talking about data validation without duplicates. Okay, Joe and Nakshu have gone to uh, do an errand. So it's just me and Nishant at home. And he was just uh, in my room asking, hey, can I play with you or do something with you? So I, I invited him to say the welcome message for all of us. Uh, but let's get into the topic of the day, which is data validation without duplicates. Uh, often when you have some data like this, it's common practice for us to set up data validation so that uh, you can select one of the options to see some information or summary or run some lookups or analysis on top. For example, imagine you have some customer data here. Uh, there are about 400 customers and uh, we wanted to be able to provide some sort of a summary here where if I select an education option, I can see how many people are there and what's their average age. Now, although I say it wrong, it is correct. Like I can pick anything and the answers will be correct. The only problem is my validation list has a lot of duplicates. Like you could see that graduate is listed many times, high school, undergrad, all of these are going to be listed. This is because the validation list comes from that column entirely. So it is showing me all the 400 values. What I need is just a list of unique values from the education column um, with, uh, with the sort order applied on that. So we're going to look at two more options. Both of these will provide the solution uh, and, and take a look at it. But Before we do that, let's first take a look at how to set up the data validation itself because some of you may not know that. So this is gonna be a very quick summary of that. So the first step is if I want to get the validation here in that cell, we go to data and then click on the data validation button and uh, allow a list of values rather than any value. And the source of the list is gonna be my, my table column. So I can put my cursor on the header and click and it'll pick the column or you can just use mouse pointer and select the values. And when you click OK, you will get a little validation box here and you can select any value from that. Right. So this is how I have set up. Normally, while uh, I'm going to just uh, um, clear uh, clear away the rule by just setting it to any value. Um, normally, when we set up the data validation, rather than using a fixed cell range, we encourage nor I encourage people to just set up a name. So first step would be to select all of these and give it a name from name box. So I have named this as education options one. So that's the name that uh, I've used it here for the validation. But as you could clearly see, this is a wrong because it is having many duplicate values. So the first option I have here is using dynamic arrays in Excel. Uh, this is a new feature that Microsoft has added uh, to Excel. Uh, it is still in preview mode. So some people have it, some people don't have it, uh, but it is only available on Excel 365 or Office 365. So that's this option the next option is going to be universal anybody can use it uh, but uh, i want to show this option because it's quite powerful and very much pain free so all you have to do is extract a list of unique and sorted options using these two fu functions unique of customers education and then put it inside sort function and all it will do is it will give you a dynamic array range that is kind of spilling so the size of this range will depend on how many unique items are there and then it will automatically sort this in the alphabetical order. So for example, we got a postgraduate, uh, let's uh, uh, change one of these PhDs to advanced PhD, right? As soon as you change, it's a formula, right? So it's going to change, it's going to sort again and then show that. So this is a dynamic range that goes from N13, the address of this cell, and then it can go for uh, how much, how many other cells that uh, Excel will return depending on the result of the sort and unique functions. So once you have that, you can go to your name manager and then you can define a name. So the name that I have defined is education option two, uh, and then that, that points to N13 hashtag. 
n13 hashtag means start the reference from n13 and go how many ever cells you need to go because the spill range that this is what dynamic array does it kind of spills down or spills sideways depending on how the result is and we want excel to go and get all of that address so that's the notation that we will be following and once you have that you you can define that as a named range and then select this cell go to data data validation and then use education options 2 as the validation option and then it will show me all these options uh, i could for example take out advanced phd and then say uh, uneducated uh, and then that will that will appear and then this will also have uneducated as an option and it will show me who that customer is and what's their average age so this is the second option as i said this second option is uh, desirable but only if you have dynamic arrays which is the case for probably one percent of excel users or even less at this point of time some of you might be on youtube but the chances are most of us don't have even i don't have access to dynamic arrays on most of my other computers as well as on the client machines and i only started using dynamic arrays just like four days ago <laughs> so that's that the third option is using pivot tables and this is by far my favorite and preferred approach all you have to do is make a dummy pivot table uh, it's kind of like a harvester pivot table put the education into the rows get rid of any grand totals and subtotals so that it will list all the education options right the problem with pivot table approach is it's not dynamic so if your data is changing you must refresh the pivot table to be able to see that uneducated option that we just added but once that's done then we need to create a dynamic range uh, it's a range that starts from n25 in our case that cell and then it goes down how many ever cells it need to to get all the education options because it is in pivot table the default behavior is it will only show one per item uh, one per education level and then also automatically sort so we don't need to worry about uh, unique uh, duplicate removal or the sorting thing the only thing that you need to remember rem worry about is you need to know what is the size of this range so this is where we can use offset formula the way it would write is offset of that cell from that cell i want you to go zero rows zero columns you could type zero zero or you can just place commas the net result would be same and what's the height like how many cells we want for this uh, we will simply use count a function it will count everything and then we can pick a large enough range normally for something like this i would say 20 is good enough uh, but if you are doing something like cities or countries you may want to have 200 or 5000 or something more reasonable uh, but if you have 5000 options you're not going to be using data validation anyway and then width is one so what this does is it will create a a range again this is dynamic arrays in excel kicking in and spilling it down but uh, um, normally offset itself will return that as an array so that's what we will use we create that we don't need to type it in a cell we we make that in the name manager uh, as education options three so that that is actually a formula that has offset of n25 count a up to the next 20 cells uh, and then one column wide and then once that is there i can set that up as a data validation education options three and then i can pick any option from that to see who those people are how many of them are there what's their average so this is how you can do data validation without duplicates i hope you enjoyed this uh, and i hope uh, you have you had fun with my son introducing the video i got a gag reel <laughs> that comes up in the end of this video Feel free to stay back and watch that as well. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Today we will be talking about... Wait, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. We will be talking about validation without duplicates. You forgot the data bit. Cut. Cut. <laughs>